Welcome to Kelly's College Picks. I'm Kelly Stewart for PlaySugarHouse.com, your home for legal sports betting. If you want the best live betting in New Jersey, you have to check out PlaySugarHouse.com. Here are my favorite games for championship weekend. The Sooners opened as double-digit favorites the last time around, and they lost outright. Money will come back in on Texas once again. I get it. Longhorns head coach Tom Herman, 12-1 as an underdog since 2015 at the University of Houston and at Texas. But Kyler Murray has looked great. 3,600 passing yards, 37 touchdown passes, and just seven interceptions. The issue that I initially had with laying over a touchdown with OU is their defense. And while Mike Stoops was fired after the last time these two met, not a lot has changed on their defensive front. I do like Oklahoma to finally step up defensively and get one back here from the Horns. Oklahoma minus seven and a half is the play. The Knights have 24 consecutive wins, though this week they will be without quarterback Mackenzie Milton. I believe it's already built into the line, but I do believe it will be tough for the Knights to trade scores with the Tigers with Mack under center instead of Milton. The Tigers' strength is in their run game, averaging 6.4 yards per carry. UCF struggles to defend the run. Memphis is on a 12-4 overall against the spread run. While UCF has won 12 in a row in this series, I look for Memphis to end this losing streak while also ending UCF's 24-game winning streak. I like Memphis plus three. Alabama blew out Auburn in the Iron Bowl on Saturday, and a week and a half ago, this line was minus eight and a half. Now Georgia's almost a two-touchdown dog in the SEC championship game. No one even seems to care how bad they beat Georgia Tech last week. I get it, Alabama is 4-0 straight up in their last four games versus Georgia by an average winning margin of 11.5 points. The Crimson Tide averaged the second most points per game in the nation at 49, while surrendering the third fewest points per game at 13.8. Offensively, they're led by Heisman Trophy favorite Tua Tagovailoa, who has thrown for 3,100 yards, 36 touchdowns, and just two interceptions. The Bulldogs have had this game circled since they lost to Alabama last year in the national championship game. I expect to get their best performance of the season. I understand Bama is 8-4 against the spread this year, but I'll buck the trends here and ride with the Georgia Bulldogs, getting 13.5. Pitt's game at Miami last week kind of provided a blueprint for what we're likely to see here in the championship game. The Canes lead the nation in tackles for a loss and had 14 against Pitt. Clemson is a close second. Pitt ran for only 69 yards versus Miami. And guess what? Clemson again ranks second at stopping the run. Pitt is not capable of winning through the air. They've only topped 200 yards once this season. I believe Pittsburgh will struggle to score. The biggest difference though between Miami and Clemson is the Tigers have an explosive offense. I'll lay the inflated number here with Clemson in a steamroll type game. I like Clemson minus 26 and a half. After an impressive win against Michigan as an underdog at home, Ohio State heads to Indianapolis to take on an 8-4 Northwestern team as a double-digit favorite. This is Northwestern's first time in the Big Ten Championship game. They've come a long way since losing to Akron. And given how good the Buckeyes looked against the number one defense in the country, it's hard not to like them here. But the Wildcats have a solid defense themselves. I get that they simply don't have the firepower to keep up with Dwayne Haskins and OSU's prolific passing offense. I've had a great read on the Wildcats all season. They play up or down to their level of competition. Given this is their national championship game, I'll take the two touchdowns with the Wildcats. If you haven't already, make sure you head over to the App Store and download the Sugar House Sportsbook app so you don't miss out on any of this weekend's action.